morning. Morning. Sunday, communion day. So we're going to do a communion. So Carol's going to give you a discussion, and then I'm going to give you the word of the Lord. Well, if you um, are aware, and you are aware, we have serious things in front of us that are going to be happening more serious than we have had in our nation up to now. And so we decided it would be a good thing to do what Jesus said, which is um, when you do this, remind yourself of you know who he is and who you are and and what this is all about so we decided to do communion and to do it reminding ourselves that we are the redeemed we are we are the precious seed in this earth and we believe going forward you're going to realize this more and more and more um, we've been doing serious studying of the seed of Abraham, which is us, and the seed of Cain. And uh, without going into it right now, the seed of Abraham is the precious seed on the earth. And if you think about it, everything in politics and money and everything is aimed um, at the precious seed. And um, so we're going to do communion and we're going to remind ourselves what Jesus did on the cross for us. And uh, Easter's, Easter's coming, um, so it's a perfect time, really, uh, the Passover. We encourage you to read Revelations. It is um, in front of our eyes. We're living it. Okay? Amen. And here we go uh, from the... 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and we it says are to examine ourselves so that we do not eat of the cup of the bread or drink of the eat of the bread or drink of the cup unworthily so we examine ourselves and we say if we have committed any sin even if the sin that we don't know about we repent of it in the name of Jesus and we are forgiven well, because we the blood of Jesus covers us sorry we understand that the book of John says that when you take your sin to yourself to your God and you repent of it um, he forgives it but there's a lovely line right afterwards that he cleanses you of everything after that so that you can walk free before him um, you don't have to walk around thinking oh I'm this I'm this I'm this I'm this I'm this that is actually not scriptural scripturally you are the righteous seed you are the precious seed, and you stand clean before your God. Amen. It says, for if you would judge yourselves or repent of yourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, we come together, and we take and partake and eat, and we tarry for one another. So Jesus said and told Paul, when you come together into one place, it is to eat the Lord's Supper. Amen. And for you, I have received of the Lord that which I also deliver now to us, to you and us, that the Lord on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And so we got crackers, tortillas, whatever, and we take bread and therefore we break it. And he says, take it and eat, up, eat of it for this is my body which is broken for you, we do this in remembrance of the Lord and what he's done for us. Amen. After the same manner, he also took the cup when he had supped, saying, This is the cup of the New Testament in my blood, this do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. His death and rising. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> so therefore... We have judged ourselves, and we receive anything that we need, healing, life, and blessing. 
And we thank you and we praise you, Lord, that you provided richly for us precious promises and we are partakers of your precious promises and we receive them in the name of Jesus. We receive the healing. We receive the life and the blessing. Amen. It's the testament of his blood that is shed for many to, the, to ensure the forgiveness of sins. And what we do, what we want to encourage you is in the days going forward, as always, but especially in these times of the end, that in these days going forward, you turn first to him. That's not to say you can't do other things, of course, but you turn first to him to ensure that you walk along the path that he wants for you. Um, the pathways though they get more defined for us, um, they are not always the easiest ones or the most obvious ones until you have eyes to see. And then it's like, okay, there, there it is. There it is. So we encourage you to turn first to him. On, on my prayer room door, um, I have a sign that says, first things first, pray. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So, um, and we're not talking about, you know, the formal Our Father and this kind of stuff. First things first, talk to your God. Amen. And you can take communion anytime. Oh, yeah. You don't have to go to a church or, you know, even get with us uh, when we do this. But you can do communion at any time. First Corinthians chapter 11. And then just read the words, read the scriptures, do what it says. And receive, receive the deliverance, the healing, the life, whatever it is you want to receive, receive it. And uh, it's an uh, act of, of um, acceptance, act of life that you believe what he said. And so there's your action with your words. Amen. It's your faith. So one of the things that, one of the really, really neat things about um, belonging to God is, is that there is no time nor distance in the Spirit. Um, so, you know, for example, when Isaac was little, he was a little boy, gosh, he couldn't have been more than three or so. Anyway, he drank antifreeze. We did not find out about it till later. Um, they called us on the phone. Of course, later not being days, I don't mean that, but we didn't see it happen, we were gone. And they called us to tell us that Isaac had drank antifreeze. And so right where we were, we said to the Lord, your word says that no, no thing that is consumed by our body, that goes into our body, can harm us according to the word of God. And it, it says no deadly thing can harm us. And so right there, right there, we said out loud to the Lord, we said, well, you know, Lord, you were with him, just because we weren't with him doesn't mean anything. He is a covenant child. Um, he belongs to you. And so we stand on your word that no deadly thing is going to harm him. Uh, and we're such creatures of time. We wanted, we want to do things ahead of time. You know, we want to pray ahead of time. But our God is not a creature of time. Our God is outside of time. So uh, we come to him and he handles it. And, and so, you know, I say for all of you, there's always times in your life where you do something and maybe you realize afterwards that probably wasn't the wisest thing to eat or consume or do or whatever. Just go to your God. Do not let the fear overtake you. Um, in these days going forward, you're going to be reading all kinds of things, and who knows how much of it's true. Um, we've sure been involved in a lot of things that are lies in our lives. Um, if you find out that you're, you're involved or partake of a lie or uh, something like that, just go to your God. Go to your God. Remember, if it was intended to harm you, it's covered by the Word of God. And I mean, if it so you say, Father God, I stand on your word that no deadly thing can harm me. We do this with medications. We do this with doctor visits. We do this with vaccines. We do this with everything. We say to God, Father God, 
we are not wise people in the world. We don't know. I mean, you know, we're not physicists and doctors and, and all this other kind of stuff. We don't know things, but you know things. So we stand on your word. That whatever it is we do, whatever it is we take, whatever it is, what medicine, like um, Benjamin had to take a medicine that we turned out later, it turned out later was not a good medicine. But we had prayed. And we had said, whatever this medicine was intended to do, that is what it will do and nothing else. So we encourage you to, especially in these days going forward, um, great confusion is on the earth. Great confusion. With due respect, if they can't tell the difference between a man and a woman, great confusion is on the earth. <laughs> Amen. So, so we encourage you to do, do that. Do communion. And do communion. Look at the word. And look at the word. Amen. And it, whatever you are concerned about. I mean, if you want to do communion 12 times, do it. If there's something that concerns you, you take communion and you put it before your God. If there's something that concerns you about your children, take communion. Take the word and put it before our God. Don't carry it in worry. Amen. We love you, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.